Knowledge out here at Tony Mandina's. Good stuff out here. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Knowledge Hunt. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans Travel Vlog, we visit Tony Mandina's restaurant for our restaurant review videos to experience the good stuff in here with their fantastic New Orleans Italian food. This New Orleans Italian restaurant is very popular for their delicious Italian food and New Orleans Creole food. Tony Mandina's is located on the west bank of the Mississippi River in the greater New Orleans suburb of Gretna at 1915 Pratt Street which is about 11 minutes and 5 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. This is a really great spot with a lot of good times in here. The month of August also brings on the tradition of the culinary celebration, where participating restaurants offer a culinary extravaganza with specially curated, pre-fixed menus and great prices, which we will be sampling here. They do have a bit of outdoor patio seating here, but I've never seen anybody sit out here in all the times I've been here. But let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So this is actually my first time back eating inside here since the lockdowns ended. They also have a takeout special of lasagna today, but I'm ready to eat inside here. So you can see when you first walk in, they've got quite a nice sized bar here. And they uh, certainly offer some good times right here when you need them. And as we go ahead and enter on further in the restaurant, they've got a little more seating here to the left when you first walk in with a piano. So it's a nice little small area of seating here next to the bar. So this is always a nice little spot for a more intimate area near the bar. But most of their seating's towards the back as we continue on our adventure. So here's the main dining room space. And you can see it's kind of split into two parts here and they just have a little divider in between that kind of breaks up the room a little bit. And then we've got plenty of other specialized dining rooms though. Now as we look up here, you see they also offer some red gravy for sale along with some of the wine and other items they have. They also have a cookbook if you want to learn how to do some of the recipes here. Now as you look around the main dining room, you can see that it's not the biggest spot, but it's pretty comfortable overall. The little uh, median divider in the middle is a bit of an unusual feature. Then we have a larger private dining room here in the back. That's a pretty decent looking area. Then we have another private dining space right here. And then another smaller private dining area. So most of the restaurant is sort of divided into more of the private dining spaces. So we're going to start with a regular menu before we get to the culinary menu with starters, Sicilian eggplant sticks, trio meatballs, garlic toast, soups, turtle soup, seafood gumbo, cream of artichoke, salad, sesame seared ahi tuna, chicken palermo salad, mandina's italian salad, classic caesar salad, signature house salad, entrees, meatballs and pasta, chicken lindsey grace, tuna, melanzani, grilled lemon herb chicken, chicken parmigiana, veal parmigiana, veal piccata, daily lunch specials, Tuesday hamburger steak, Wednesday, fried catfish and white beans. Thursday, catfish reggio. Friday, shrimp and crab meat ravioli. So I've had the turtle soup in the past and it's always been quite good. They've also had some good appetizers like these fried eggplant sticks with a side of bread gravy, of course. And also they had these fried mozzarella cheese triangles with a side of bread gravy as an appetizer. And then this red fish was really good that I've had as a special in the past. And of course, their spaghetti and meatballs is always a winner here. They have really great meatballs here. And they're gonna start me out today with some of the bread, butter, and their house olive oil. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So of course, gonna start with a little butter here. And then we're going to slather all this delicious bread with some of the olive oil. And uh, have a little snack before we begin the full feast of what all we're going to have today. So this is a nice little yeast roll, it looks like. So let's get our bread buttered and then get a little extra dangerous with their house olive oil here. All right, here it goes. And ooh, all kinds of nice rosemary and some other herbs and spices and pepper in there. So here we go. And all right, this is all a good flavor combo and a great way to start your meal. So, a little bread, oil, butter, mmm, all the good components the way you need them. Very nice. And the rosemary certainly gives it a little extra kick of flavor in the oil. So, 
It's definitely a very nice way to get your appetite started. Now I got a seafood gumbo this time. So let's dig in. Oh, 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 there's a decent amount of shrimp in here. So I'm definitely seeing a little bit of crab as well. So there's a good little combination of different kinds of seafood in here along with a respectable amount of rice. So there's good flavors to the gumbo. It definitely has all the components I would expect for a nice New Orleans style Creole seafood gumbo. Just the way I like it with a nice roux here and it's got good flavors all around. So it's pretty nice overall. Um, you know, definitely I've had a little bit better gumbos, definitely had a lot of worse gumbos. This is solidly right there in an average uh, high gumbo. So just like I've destroyed this gumbo, go ahead and destroy the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this gumbo. While you're down there, make sure to check out my Patreon account as I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So, for my main course, I had to get the lasagna that was on special for the carryout today because I do love some good lasagna. Ooh, let's dig in. Look at this. It's all nice and hot and gooey. Look at that steam. Oh, yeah. Let's sample it. And, oh, yeah. This is some good lasagna. And it's been a long time since I've had the lasagna here. And it's quite good. The red gravy they have here is quite flavorful, so it really is a fantastic red sauce. It goes so well with pastas and many other items. Ooh, look at this beautiful bite of lasagna. Ooh, yeah. Oh, chock full of flavors. It's just the perfect temperature. It's not so hot that it's going to burn my mouth, but it's ooey, gooey, melty, cheesy perfection. So it's hard to get to that really great temperature place where everything is still hot enough to make the cheese melty and gooey without burning your tongue and mouth and everything else around you. So I really appreciate how they perfected this perfect in-between temperature where you're still able to enjoy the deliciousness of ooey gooey cheese and lasagna while also not completely burning away all of your taste buds and everything else you need to enjoy it. So they certainly have a little bit of above average practice here, keeping this delicious, I'd say. All right, here's my last bite. So just like I totally destroyed this lasagna, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this lasagna. While you're down there, make sure to check out links to my Patreon account. I do work for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived, and the total was $32.20 before tip. So for my next visit, I did the culinary lunch menu with a first course choice of cream of artichoke soup, Mandina signature house salad, classic Caesar salad, and then your second course, you had a choice of crispy chicken florentine, beef cannelloni, or crispy shrimp rasa. So I chose to start with the cream of artichoke soup. So let's dig in and give it a sample. Ooh. It looks really nice, it has a really nice aroma to it, and artichoke in a soup is typically a pretty good way to do artichoke, and ooh, yes indeed. This is quite a lovely, nice, creamy rendition of an artichoke soup. Lots of good flavors, and it is a very pleasant way to start your meal off. So just like I've completely destroyed this artichoke soup, destroy the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about this artichoke soup, and while you're down there, make sure to check out links to my Patreon accounts. I do work for tips, so I appreciate any help with that. So my dining companion got the crispy shrimp rasa, and it looks very nice. And I, of course, got the beef cannelloni, because I love a good cannelloni. So let's dig in, and ooh, yeah. So, it so far looks pretty nice. I don't think I've ever had a cannelloni with quite the thickness level of the pasta on the outside as this. Typically in my past experience, all of my other cannellonis have had the pasta outside wrapping. It's been quite a bit more thin, so this is uh, definitely a new kind of pasta experience for me with the cannelloni noodle being quite as thick as this. So it's not quite as delicate and dainty as other cannelloni examples I've had in the New Orleans area are. So, uh, you know, it's definitely not a bad experience. It's just a little bit different. So I'd say it's probably a, you know, a little below average for the area just because the 
delicate nature of the thinner pasta, I think, contributes to a little more interesting phenomena in your mouth when you eat it. This is a more of a ravioli kind of flavor overall, I think, is the way I can describe it best. So a little more chewiness of the noodle of the pasta here. And the flavor of the sauce, as always, fantastic with their signature red gravy that they have here. There's nice ooey gooey cheese melted everywhere. The beef is seasoned and cooked perfectly on the interior of this. So it is a pleasant dish to eat. It's just not to the level of super duper amazing like many of the other cannellonis I've had around New Orleans though. So this is uh, certainly not in any way a bad dish or even a substandard dish. Just a little bit different and I just find uh, to my taste, I kind of prefer those little uh, more dainty thin exterior noodle coatings for the other cannellonis I've tried around town. Now. Uh, this is uh, definitely a good deal though, the culinary, and it's definitely a nice thing to try a different version of a cannelloni. It keeps life interesting. So I've actually never had the cannelloni until this visit and all the years I've been visiting this restaurant. So it's always good to have something a little bit different and new because hey, variety being the spice of life with food, certainly an accurate statement often. Now, of course, you get your old favorites and things you like to return to sometimes. That also is uh, great to have a little old familiar now and again with some of those items you really do crave and like. So here we go, it's getting down to the wire. I'm really taking this down quite easily and effortlessly. And it's been a full bite of flavor in each and every forkful of food I've had in this experience. And really everything they serve in here has great flavor and it's very nicely prepared. Okay, I think I got about one more bite left here. So just like I've totally destroyed this beef cannelloni, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this beef cannelloni. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account. I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived and the total before tip was $29.47. So thanks so much to everybody at Tony Mandina's for the fantastic food. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. If you would so kindly go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.